in probability and statistics, a random variable, random quantity, aleatory variable, or stochastic variable is described informally as a variable whose values depend on outcomes of a random phenomenon. The formal mathematical treatment of random variables is a topic in probability theory. In that context, a random variable is understood as a measurable function defined on a sample space whose outcomes are typically real numbers. A random variable's possible values might represent the possible outcomes of a yet-to-be-performed experiment, or the possible outcomes of a past experiment whose already existing value is uncertain, for example, because of imprecise measurements or quantum uncertainty. They may also conceptually represent either the results of an objectively random process, such as rolling a die, or the subjective randomness that results from incomplete knowledge of a quantity. The meaning of the probabilities assigned to the potential values of a random variable is not part of probability theory itself but is instead related to philosophical arguments over the interpretation of probability. The mathematics works the same regardless of the particular interpretation in use. As a function, a random variable is required to be measurable, which allows for probabilities to be assigned to sets of its potential values. It is common that the outcomes depend on some physical variables that are not predictable. For example, when tossing a fair coin, the final outcome of heads or tails depends on the uncertain physical conditions. Which outcome will be observed is not certain. The coin could get caught in a crack in the floor, but such a possibility is excluded from consideration. The domain of a random variable is a sample space, which is interpreted as the set of possible outcomes of a random phenomenon. For example, in the case of a coin toss, only two possible outcomes are considered, namely heads or tails. A random variable has a probability distribution, which specifies the probability of its values. Random variables can be discrete, that is, taking any of a specified finite or countable list of values, endowed with a probability mass function characteristic of the random variable's probability distribution, or continuous, taking any numerical value in an interval or collection of intervals, via a probability density function that is characteristic of the random variable's probability distribution, or a mixture of both types. Two random variables with the same probability distribution can still differ in terms of their associations with, or independence from, other random variables. The realizations of a random variable, that is, the results of randomly choosing values according to the variable's probability distribution function, are called random variates. Topic. Definition A random variable x omega e display style x colon omega to e is a measurable function from a set of possible outcomes omega display style omega to a measurable space e display style e the technical axiomatic definition requires omega display style omega to be a sample space of a probability triple see measure theoretic definition Usually, x display style x is real valued, i.e., e equals r display style e equals math bound r. The probability that x display style x takes on a value in a measurable set s e display style s subset e is written as p r x element of s equals p omega element of omega x omega element of s display style operator name p r x in s equals p omega in omega x omega in s where p display style p is the probability measure equipped with Omega display style Omega topic standard case in many cases e equals display style e equals R display style math bound R in some contexts the term random element C extensions is used to denote a random variable not of this form when the image or range of x display style x is finite or countably infinite the random variable is called a discrete random variable and its distribution can be described by a probability mass function which assigns a probability to each value in the image of x 
display style x. If the image is uncountably infinite, then x display style x is called a continuous random variable. In the special case that it is absolutely continuous, its distribution can be described by a probability density function, which assigns probabilities to intervals. In particular, each individual point must necessarily have probability zero for an absolutely continuous random variable. Not all continuous random variables are absolutely continuous, for example a mixture distribution. Such random variables cannot be described by a probability density or a probability mass function. Any random variable can be described by its cumulative distribution function, which describes the probability that the random variable will be less than or equal to a certain value. Topic. Extensions The term random variable in statistics is traditionally limited to the real valued case E equals R Display style e equals math bound r. In this case, the structure of the real numbers makes it possible to define quantities such as the expected value and variance of a random variable, its cumulative distribution function, and the moments of its distribution. However, the definition above is valid for any measurable space e. Display style e. Of values. Thus, one can consider random elements of other sets e. Display style e such as random Boolean values, categorical values, complex numbers, vectors, matrices, sequences, trees, sets, shapes, manifolds, and functions. One may then specifically refer to a random variable of type e or an e valued random variable. This more general concept of a random element is particularly useful in disciplines such as graph theory, machine learning, natural language processing, and other fields in discrete mathematics and computer science, where one is often interested in modeling the random variation of non-numerical data structures. In some cases, it is nonetheless convenient to represent each element of e using one or more real numbers. In this case, a random element may optionally be represented as a vector of real-valued random variables, all defined on the same underlying probability space. Omega, display style omega, which allows the different random variables to co-vary. For example, a random word may be represented as a random integer that serves as an index into the vocabulary of possible words. Alternatively, it can be represented as a random indicator vector whose length equals the size of the vocabulary, where the only values of positive probability are 1 0 0 0 Display style 1 0 0 0 CDOTS 0 1 0 0 Display style 0 1 0 0 CDOTS 0 0 one zero display style zero zero one zero c d o t s and the position of the one indicates the word a random sentence of given length n display style n may be represented as a vector of n display style n random words a random graph on n display style n Given vertices may be represented as a n times n display style n times n matrix of random variables whose values specify the adjacency matrix of the random graph. A random function f display style f may be represented as a collection of random variables f x display style f x giving the function's values at the various points x display style x in the function's domain the f x display style f x are ordinary real valued random variables provided that the function is real valued for example a stochastic process is a random function of time a random vector is a random function of some index set such as 1 2 n Display style one two l dots n, and random field is a random function on any set, typically time, space, or a discrete set. Topic: Distribution functions. 
if a random variable x omega r display style x colon omega 2 math bound r defined on the probability space omega f p display style omega math call f p is given we can ask questions like how likely is it that the value of x display style x is equal to 2 this is the same as the probability of the event omega x omega equals 2 display style omega x omega equals 2 which is often written as p x equals 2 display style p x equals 2 or p x 2 display style p underscore x 2 for short recording all these probabilities of output ranges of a real valued random variable x display style x yields the probability distribution of x display style x the probability distribution forgets about the particular probability space used to define x display style x and only records the probabilities of various values of x display style x such a probability distribution can always be captured by its cumulative distribution function f x x equals p x x display style f underscore x x equals operator name p x leq x and sometimes also using a probability density function p x display style p underscore x in measure theoretic terms we use the random variable x display style x to push forward the measure p display style p on omega display style omega to a measure p x display style p underscore x on r display style mathbound r the underlying probability space omega display style omega is a technical device used to guarantee the existence of random variables sometimes to construct them and to define notions such as correlation and dependence or independence based on a joint distribution of two or more random variables on the same probability space in practice one often disposes of the space omega display style omega altogether and just puts a measure on r display style mathbound r that assigns measure 1 to the whole real line i.e. one works with probability distributions instead of random variables see the article on quantile functions for fuller development topic examples topic discrete random variable In an experiment a person may be chosen at random, and one random variable may be the person's height. Mathematically, the random variable is interpreted as a function which maps the person to the person's height. Associated with the random variable is a probability distribution that allows the computation of the probability that the height is in any subset of possible values, such as the probability that the height is between 180 and 190 cm, or the probability that the height is either less than 150 or more than 200 cm. Another random variable may be the person's number of children, this is a discrete random variable with non-negative integer values. It allows the computation of probabilities for individual integer values, the probability mass function PMF, or for sets of values, including infinite sets. For example, the event of interest may be an even number of children. For both finite and infinite event sets, their probabilities can be found by adding up the PMFs of the elements, that is, the probability of an even number of children is the infinite sum. PMF zero plus PMF two plus PMF four plus display style operator name PMF zero plus operator name PMF two plus operator name PMF four plus CDOTS. 
In examples such as these, the sample space is often suppressed, since it is mathematically hard to describe, and the possible values of the random variables are then treated as a sample space. But when two random variables are measured on the same sample space of outcomes, such as the height and number of children being computed on the same random persons, it is easier to track their relationship if it is acknowledged that both height and number of children come from the same random person, for example so that questions of whether such random variables are correlated or not can be posed. From a first principles-based approach, a discrete random variable is a random variable whose cumulative distribution function is piecewise constant. Topic coin toss The possible outcomes for one coin toss can be described by the sample space omega equals heads, tails, display style omega equals text heads, text tails. We can introduce a real valued random variable y display style y that models a one dollar payoff for a successful bet on heads as follows y omega equals one if omega equals heads zero if omega equals tails. Display style y omega equals begin cases one and text if omega equals text heads six pt zero and text if omega equals text tails. End cases if the coin is a fair coin y has a probability mass function f y display style f underscore y given by f y y equals one two if y equals one one two if y equals zero display style f underscore y y equals begin cases t f r a c one two and text if y equals one six p t t f r a c one two and text if y equals zero end cases. Topic dice roll. A random variable can also be used to describe the process of rolling dice and the possible outcomes. The most obvious representation for the two dice case is to take the set of pairs of numbers n1 and n2 from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 representing the numbers on the two dice as the sample space. The total number roll, the sum of the numbers in each pair, is then a random variable x given by the function that maps the pair to the sum x n 1 n 2 equals n 1 plus n 2 display style x n underscore 1 n underscore 2 equals n underscore 1 plus n underscore 2 and if the dice are fair has a probability mass function pho given by f x s equals min s minus 1 13 minus s 36 for s element of 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 Display style f underscore x s equals frac min s one thirteen s thirty six text for s in two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. Topic: Continuous random variable. Formally, a continuous random variable is a random variable whose cumulative distribution function is continuous everywhere. There are no gaps which would correspond to numbers which have a finite probability of occurring. Instead, continuous random variables almost never take an exact prescribed value c formally c element of r p r x equals c equals 0 text style for all c in mathbound r p r x equals c equals 0 but there is a positive probability that its value will lie in particular intervals which can be arbitrarily small. Continuous random variables usually admit probability density functions PDF, which characterize their CDF and probability measures. Such distributions are also called absolutely continuous, but some continuous distributions are singular, or mixes of an absolutely continuous part and a singular part. An example of a continuous random variable would be one based on a spinner that can choose a horizontal direction. Then the values taken by the random variable are directions. We could represent these directions by north, west, east, south, southeast, etc. However, it is commonly more convenient to map the sample space to a random variable which takes values which are real numbers. This can be done, for example, by mapping a direction to a bearing in degrees clockwise from north. The random variable then takes values which are real numbers from the interval 0, 360, with all parts of the range being equally likely. 
In this case, x equals the angle spun. Any real number has probability zero of being selected, but a positive probability can be assigned to any range of values. For example, the probability of choosing a number in 0, 180, is one half. Instead of speaking of a probability mass function, we say that the probability density of x is 1 360th. The probability of a subset of 0, 360, can be calculated by multiplying the measure of the set by 1 360th. In general, the probability of a set for a given continuous random variable can be calculated by integrating the density over the given set. Given any interval i equals a b equals x element of i a x b Text style I equals A B equals X in math bound R A L E Q X L E Q B A random variable X I U I equals U A B Display style X underscore I sim operator name U I equals operator name U A B called a continuous uniform random variable. CURV is defined to take any value in the interval with equal likelihood. The probability of x i display style x underscore i falling in any subinterval c d a b display style c d subset a b is proportional to the length of the subinterval, specifically where the denominator comes from the unitarity axiom of probability. The probability density function of a CURV x u a b display style x sim operator name u a b is given by the indicator function of its interval of support normalized by the interval's length of particular interest is the uniform distribution on the unit interval 0 1 display style 0 1 samples of any desired probability distribution d display style operator name d can be generated by calculating the quantile function of d display style operator name d on a randomly generated number distributed uniformly on the unit interval this exploits properties of cumulative distribution functions which are a unifying framework for all random variables Topic. Mixed type A mixed random variable is a random variable whose cumulative distribution function is neither piecewise constant a discrete random variable nor everywhere continuous. It can be realized as the sum of a discrete random variable and a continuous random variable, in which case the CDF will be the weighted average of the CDFs of the component variables. An example of a random variable of mixed type would be based on an experiment where a coin is flipped and the spinner is spun only if the result of the coin toss is heads. If the result is tails, x. Topic, minus 1, otherwise x. The value of the spinner is in the preceding example. There is a probability of one half that this random variable will have the value minus one. Other ranges of values would have half the probabilities of the last example. Most generally, every probability distribution on the real line is a mixture of discrete part, singular part, and an absolutely continuous part. See Lebesgue's decomposition theorem section refinement. The discrete part is concentrated on a countable set, but this set may be dense, like the set of all rational numbers. Topic. Measure theoretic definition The most formal, axiomatic definition of a random variable involves measure theory. Continuous random variables are defined in terms of sets of numbers, along with functions that map such sets to probabilities. Because of various difficulties e.g. the Banach-Tarski paradox that arise if such sets are insufficiently constrained, it is necessary to introduce what is termed a sigma algebra to constrain the possible sets over which probabilities can be defined. Normally, a particular such sigma algebra is used, the Borel sigma algebra, which allows for probabilities to be defined over any sets that can be derived either directly from continuous intervals of numbers or by a finite or countably infinite number of unions and or intersections of such intervals. The measure theoretic definition is as follows. Let omega f p 
display style omega mathcal f p be a probability space and e e display style e mathcal e a measurable space then an e e display style e mathcal e valued random variable is a measurable function x omega e display style x colon omega to e which means that for every subset b element of e display style b in mathcal e its preimage x minus 1 b element of f display style x caret minus 1 b in mathcal f where x minus 1 b equals omega x omega element of b display style x caret minus 1 b equals omega x omega in b this definition enables us to measure any subset b element of e display style b in mathcal e in the target space by looking at its preimage which by assumption is measurable in more intuitive terms a member of omega display style omega is a possible outcome a member of f display style mathcal f is a measurable subset of possible outcomes the function p display style p gives the probability of each such measurable subset e display style e represents the set of values that the random variable can take such as the set of real numbers and a member of e display style mathcal e is a well behaved measurable subset of e display style e those for which the probability may be determined the random variable is then a function from any outcome to a quantity, such that the outcomes leading to any useful subset of quantities for the random variable have a well-defined probability. When E is a topological space, then the most common choice for the sigma algebra E is the Borel sigma algebra B E which is the sigma algebra generated by the collection of all open sets in E display style E in such case the E E display style E math call E valued random variable is called the E display style E valued random variable moreover when space E display style E is the real line R display style math bound R then such a real valued random variable is called simply the random variable topic real valued random variables in this case the observation space is the set of real numbers recall omega f p Display style omega mathcal f p is the probability space. For real observation space, the function x omega r display style x colon omega right arrow math bound r is a real valued random variable if omega x omega r element of f r element of R display style omega x omega leqr in mathcal f q quad for r in math bound r. This definition is a special case of the above because the set minus infinity r r element of r display style inf t r r in math bound r generates the Borel sigma algebra on the set of real numbers, and it suffices to check measurability on any generating set. Here we can prove measurability on this generating set by using the fact that omega x omega r equals x minus 1 minus 
infinity R Display style omega x omega leqr equals x caret minus one int d r. Topic moments. The probability distribution of a random variable is often characterized by a small number of parameters, which also have a practical interpretation. For example, it is often enough to know what its average value is. This is captured by the mathematical concept of expected value of a random variable, denoted e x, display style operator name e x, and also called the first moment. In general, e f x, display style operator name e f x, is not equal to f e x, display style f operator name e x. Once the average value is known, one could then ask how far from this average value the values of x display style x typically are, a question that is answered by the variance and standard deviation of a random variable. E x display style operator name E x can be viewed intuitively as an average obtained from an infinite population, the members of which are particular evaluations of x display style x. Mathematically, this is known as the generalized problem of moments for a given class of random variables. X display style x find a collection f i display style f underscore i a function such that the expectation values e f i x display style operator name e f underscore i x fully characterize the distribution of the random variable x display style x moments can only be defined for real valued functions of random variables or complex valued etc if the random variable is itself real valued then moments of the variable itself can be taken which are equivalent to moments of the identity function f x equals x display style f x equals x of the random variable However, even for non-real valued random variables, moments can be taken of real valued functions of those variables. For example, for a categorical random variable x that can take on the nominal values red, blue, or green, the real valued function x equals green display style x equals text green can be constructed. This uses the Iverson bracket and has the value 1 if x Display style x has the value green zero otherwise. Then the expected value and other moments of this function can be determined. Topic: <laughs> Functions of random variables. A new random variable y can be defined by applying a real Borel measurable function g r r. Display style g colon math bound r right arrow math bound r to the outcomes of a real valued random variable x display style x that is y equals g x display style y equals g x the cumulative distribution function of y display style y is then f y Y equals P G X Y display style f underscore y y equals operator name P G X L E Q Y. If function G display style G is invertible, i.e. H equals G minus one. Display style h equals g caret minus one exists where h display style h is g display style g s inverse function and is either increasing or decreasing, then the previous relation can be extended to obtain f y y equals p g x y equals 
P X H Y equals F X H Y if H equals G minus one increasing P X H Y equals one minus F X H Y if H equals G minus one decreasing Display style f underscore y y equals operator name p g x l e q y equals begin cases operator name p x l e q h y equals f underscore x h y and text if h equals g caret minus one text increasing operator name p x g e q h y equals one f underscore x h y and text if h equals g caret minus one text decreasing end cases with the same hypotheses of invertibility of g Display style g. Assuming also differentiability, the relation between the probability density functions can be found by differentiating both sides of the above expression with respect to y. Display style y. In order to obtain f y y equals f x h y d h y D Y Display style F underscore Y Y equals F underscore X B I G L H Y big R left frac D H Y D Y right. If there is no invertibility of G Display style G but each Y Display style Y admits at most a countable number of roots, i.e. a finite or countably infinite number of X I Display style x underscore i such that y equals g x i display style y equals g x underscore i. Then the previous relation between the probability density functions can be generalized with f y y equals i f x g i minus 1 y d g i minus 1 y d y Display style f underscore y y equals sum underscore i f underscore x g underscore i carrot minus 1 y left frac d g underscore i carrot minus 1 y d y right where x i equals G I minus one Y display style X underscore I equals G underscore I carrot minus one Y according to the inverse function theorem. The formulas for densities do not demand G display style G to be increasing. In the measure theoretic, axiomatic approach to probability, if a random variable X display style X on Omega display style Omega and a Borel measurable function G R R display style G colon math bound R right arrow math bound R then Y equals G X display style Y equals G X is also a random variable on Omega display style Omega since the composition of measurable functions is also measurable however this is not necessarily true if G display style G is Lebesgue measurable the same procedure that allowed one to go from a probability space Omega P display style Omega P to R D F X Display style math bound R D F underscore X can be used to obtain the distribution of Y display style Y. Topic example one: Let X display style X be a real valued continuous random variable, and let Y equals X two display style Y equals X caret two F Y Y equals P X two Y. 
Display style f underscore y y equals operator name p x caret two l e q y if y zero display style y then p x two y equals zero display style p x caret two l e q y equals zero so f y y equals zero if y zero display style f underscore y y equals zero q quad h box if quad y if y zero display style y g e q zero then P x two y equals P x y equals P minus y x y. Display style operator name P x caret two L E Q Y equals operator name P x L E Q S Q R T Y equals operator name P S Q R T Y L E Q X L E Q S Q R T Y. So F Y Y equals F X Y minus F X minus Y Y zero display style f underscore y y equals f underscore x sqrt y f underscore x sqrt y q quad h box if quad y g e q zero. Topic example two. Suppose x display style x is a random variable with a cumulative distribution f x x equals p x x equals 1 1 plus e minus x theta Display style f underscore x x equals p x l e q x equals frac one one plus e caret x caret theta, where theta greater than zero. Display style theta greater than zero is a fixed parameter. Consider the random variable y equals l o g one plus E minus x. Display style y equals mathrm log one plus e caret x. Then f y y equals p y y equals p l o g one plus e minus x y equals p x minus l o g e y minus 1 Display style f underscore y y equals p y l e q y equals p mathrm log one plus e caret x l e q y equals p x g e q mathrm log e caret y minus one. The last expression can be calculated in terms of the cumulative distribution of x. Display style x. So f y y equals one minus F x minus L O G E Y minus one display style F underscore Y Y equals one F underscore X mathrm log E carrot Y minus one equals one minus one one plus E L O G E Y minus one theta display style equals one frac one one plus e carrot mathrm log e carrot y minus one carrot theta equals one minus one one plus e y minus 
one theta display style equals one frac one one plus e carrot y minus one carrot theta equals one minus e minus y theta display style equals one e carrot y theta which is the cumulative distribution function CDF of an exponential distribution. Topic example three. Suppose x display style x is a random variable with a standard normal distribution whose density is f x x equals one. 2 pi e minus x 2 2 display style f underscore x x equals frac 1 sqrt 2 pi e caret x caret 2 2 consider the random variable y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 we can find the density using the above formula for a change of variables f y y equals i f x g i minus 1 y d g i minus 1 y d y Display style f underscore y y equals sum underscore i f underscore x g underscore i caret minus one y left frac d g underscore i caret minus one y d y right. In this case, the change is not monotonic because every value of y display style y has two corresponding values of x display style x, one positive and negative. However, because of symmetry, both halves will transform identically, i.e. f y y equals 2 f x g minus 1 y d g minus 1 y d y Display style f underscore y y equals two f underscore x g carrot minus one y left frac d g carrot minus one y d y right. The inverse transformation is x equals g minus one y equals y. Display style x equals g carrot minus one y equals sqrt y, and its derivative is d g minus 1 y d y equals 1 2 y display style frac d g caret minus 1 y d y equals frac 1 2 sqrt y then f y y equals 2 1 2 pi e minus y 2 1 2 y equals 1 2 pi y e minus y 2 Display style f underscore y y equals two frac one sqrt two pi e carrot y two frac one two sqrt y equals frac one sqrt two pi y e carrot y two. This is a chi squared distribution with one degree of freedom. Topic example four. Suppose x. Display style x is a random variable with a normal distribution whose density is f x x equals one two pi sigma two e 
minus x minus mu 2 2 sigma 2 display style f underscore x x equals frac 1 sqrt 2 pi sigma caret 2 e caret x mu caret 2 2 sigma caret 2 consider the random variable y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 we can find the density using the above formula for a change of variables f y y equals i f x g i minus 1 y d g i minus 1 y d y Display style f underscore y y equals sum underscore i f underscore x g underscore i carrot minus one y left frac d g underscore i carrot minus one y d y right. In this case, the change is not monotonic because every value of y display style y has two corresponding values of x display style x, one positive and negative. Differently from the previous example, in this case however, there is no symmetry and we have to compute the two distinct terms f y y equals f x g 1 minus 1 y d g 1 minus 1 y d y plus f x g 2 minus 1 y d g 2 minus 1 y d y Display style f underscore y y equals f underscore x g underscore one carrot minus one y left frac d g underscore one carrot minus one y d y right plus f underscore x g underscore two carrot minus one y left frac d g underscore two carrot minus one y d y right. The inverse transformation is x equals g one two minus one Y equals plus or minus Y Display style x equals G underscore one two carrot minus one Y equals PM SQRT Y and its derivative is D G one two minus one Y D Y equals plus or minus one two Y Display style frac DG underscore one two carrot minus one Y DY equals PM frac one two SQRT Y Then F Y Y equals one two Pi Sigma two one two Y E minus Y minus mu two two sigma two plus E minus minus Y minus mu two two sigma two Display style f underscore y y equals frac one sqrt two pi sigma carrot two frac one two sqrt y e carrot sqrt y mu carrot two two sigma carrot two plus e carrot sqrt y mu carrot two two sigma carrot two. This is a non-central chi squared distribution with one degree of freedom. Topic: Equivalence of random variables. There are several different senses in which random variables can be considered to be equivalent. 
Two random variables can be equal, equal almost surely, or equal in distribution. In increasing order of strength, the precise definition of these notions of equivalence is given below. Topic: <laughs> Equality in distribution. If the sample space is a subset of the real line, random variables x and y are equal in distribution, denoted x equals d y. Display style x d equals y. If they have the same distribution functions p x x equals p y x for all x. Display style operator name p x leq x equals operator name p y leq x quad h box for all quad x. To be equal in distribution, random variables need not be defined on the same probability space. Two random variables having equal moment generating functions have the same distribution. This provides, for example, a useful method of checking equality of certain functions of independent, identically distributed (IID) random variables. However, the moment generating function exists only for distributions that have a defined Laplace transform. Topic: <laughs> Almost sure equality. Two random variables x and y are equal almost surely, denoted x equals a s y. Display style x stackra a s equals y. If and only if the probability that they are different is zero, p x does not equal y equals zero. Display style operator name p x n e q y equals zero. For all practical purposes in probability theory, this notion of equivalence is as strong as actual equality. It is associated to the following distance d infinity x y equals e s s sub omega x omega minus y omega display style d underscore inf t x y equals mathrm s sub underscore omega x omega y omega where s sub represents the essential supremum in the sense of measure theory Topic. Equality Finally, the two random variables x and y are equal if they are equal as functions on their measurable space x omega equals y omega for all omega display style x omega equals y omega q quad h box for all omega this notion is typically the least useful in probability theory because in practice and in theory, the underlying measure space of the experiment is rarely explicitly characterized or even characterizable. Convergence A significant theme in mathematical statistics consists of obtaining convergence results for certain sequences of random variables, for instance the law of large numbers and the central limit theorem. There are various senses in which a sequence x n display style x underscore n of random variables can converge to a random variable x display style x. These are explained in the article on convergence of random variables. Topic notes. Equals equals see also.